Don't be careful of you falling out that door. receive a ring. Therefore, on this their wedding day, we pray with them that, strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfil his purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. At first, I am required to ask anyone present who knows a reason why these persons may not lawfully marry to declare it now. The vows you're about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and who knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. Matthew, will you take Caroline to be your wife? Will you love her, comfort her, honour and protect her? and forsaking all others. Be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. I will. Caroline, will you take Matthew to be your husband? Will you comfort him, love him, honour and protect him, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Will you, 
the families and friends of Matthew and Caroline support and uphold them in their marriage now and in the years to come. We will. We will. Let us pray. God our Father, from the beginning you have blessed creation with abundant life. Pour out your blessings upon Matthew and Caroline, that they may be joined in mutual love and companionship, in holiness and commitment to each other. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. I, Matthew Edward, take you, Caroline Louise, to be my wife, to have and to hold, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I, Caroline Louise, take you, Matthew Edward, to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, Till death us do part, according to God's holy law. In the presence of God I make this vow. Caroline, I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. With my body I honour you. All that I am I give to you and all that I have I share with you within the love of God Father, Son and the Holy Spirit Matthew I receive this ring as a sign of our marriage with my body I honour you all that I am I give to you all that I have I share with you within the love of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Matthew and Caroline have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of a ring. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. <laughs> God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve and keep you. The Lord mercifully grant you the riches of his grace, that you may please him both in body and soul, and living together in faith and love, may receive the blessings of eternal life. Amen. 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 Printed on the order of service, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. To a second reading, which is by A. A. Milne and read again by Emily. Wherever I am, there's always poo. There's always poo in me. Whatever I do, he wants to do. Where are we going today? says Poo. Well, that's very odd, because I was too. Let's go together, says Pooh, says he. Let's go together, says Pooh. What's twice eleven? I said to Pooh. Twice what? said Pooh to me. I think it ought to be twenty-two. Just what I think myself, says Pooh. It wasn't an easy sum to do. But that's what it is, said Pooh, said he. That's what it is, said Pooh. Let's look for dragons, I said to Pooh. Yes, let's said Pooh to me. We crossed the river and found a few. Yes, those are dragons, all right, said Pooh. As soon as I saw their beaks, I knew. That's what they are, said Pooh, said he. That's what they are, said Pooh. <coughs> Let's frighten the dragons, I said to Pooh. That's right, said Pooh to me. I'm not afraid, I said to Pooh. And I held his paw and I shouted, shoo. Silly old dragons. And off they flew. I wasn't afraid, said Pooh, said he. I wasn't afraid with you. So, wherever I am, there's always Pooh. There's always Pooh in me. What would I do, I said to Pooh, if it wasn't for you? And Pooh said, true. It isn't as much fun for one but two. Can sit, toge uh, can sit together, says Pooh, says he. That's how it is, says Pooh. I was fine up until then. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I love you. I love you more. It's <laughs> a bit of heat.
So now we come to the blessing of the marriage. So just Matthew and Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> What does he know? <laughs> That's called voices off. Yeah. Right, kneel down, Caroline. We've been upstaged.